RPG a day 28 today is about gratefulness so I am grateful for a lot of things a lot of RPG goodness D6s 3D printing te technology Steve Kenson's brain Steve Jackson's existence But that's beside the point. Uh, first, I'd like to thank David Chapman for RPG a day. I'm grateful for that because it allows me to create a little bit more content each year just because it gives me this challenge of answering all 30 questions. And I'm doing this in two languages this year. So that's 60 videos, plus the missed takes and, and, and preparation of the questions and answers, and, and the actual queuing videos on YouTube, and making sure each video is published on time. <clears throat> so uh, since the golden age of the RPG Brigade, which are behind me, it's more difficult to create content these days because so much of people I used to interact with are no longer on the internet or are no longer doing the vlog thing and answering each other's question and also myself I'm, I'm, I'm less and less into RPG theories becoming more of a grognar, a pragmatist <laughs> so um, coming back to the question I'd like to thank my friends, my friends in real life and online, because I don't, I don't have a big difference between the two. Then to my regular group, Fred, Christopher, Eric, Andre, Sophie, Virginie, and all the, and all the ones that shared with us laugh, laughter, and joy over decades. Thank you. I am grateful for your tiny bit of friendship and companionship for the stretch of time you have given me. I am grateful for that. I will cherish these memories, good and bad, because overall, I believe we retain more of the good in this hobby, at least. Every role-playing nightmare can become a funny story decades later. So I'm grateful for your friendship and your understanding about what I'm trying to do and how I do things. And you are truly special to me if you succeed in uncovering why I'm doing all this and not many have so thank you very much now to my online entourage François Le Tarte, Ivan, Anthony, Chepe, Matthew, David, Tim, Brandon and all the others I forgot I have not forgot you I just forgot you to put on the list so. uh, Every now and then I return back to my channel and watch tiny bits of, of games. The Sharknado games, the, the Buckaroo Banzai game, Anoran campaign, the Salvage Sky campaign. And I smile. I cannot believe that I did that. And, and sometimes it's a good refresher of what I've done. But it's the faces in the screens. Uh, having fun and laughing this is so important to me so to my online friends even though I didn't meet any of you in person I feel like I did I feel like I, I know you a little and you are more than pixels on the screen to me or sounds into my ears. You're more than that. You're an actual person and 
and and I feel I could cross over the internet and meet with you in real life, have a drink, and we could talk for hours. And I feel it would be like the most natural things to me. I've I've met a couple of uh, I, I've I've met one uh, vlogger in person, and even though I, I, I my my default state of mind is is uh, introvert introverted maybe a little bit shy but not too much. Uh, I've met this vlogger in real life and felt very comfortable like I knew I knew this person for a long time <clears throat> so I feel that would happen too with all you uh, in a drop beat in a, in a heartbeat I would go to Chicago and play with David or uh, go to Saint Hyacinthe and play with with Francois um, that that would be the, the the most natural thing I and I believe that I believe the friendship I've made uh, however their qualities are I feel we could meet in person and that would be the most natural thing like old souls reconnecting or like old friends saying hey how are you going so role-playing games and and I'm grateful for that very thing role-playing games to me are just the best excuse to go out and play with people to invite people in my home and I'm not super fan of having visit visitors at home and even even family sometime but in the end being more social being more with people I believe is more natural to our species and and I have to fight my introvert introverted uh, leaning and introverts do need socialization and social encounters to, to stay healthy so role-playing games are just to me the best way to meet with my people, the geeks and the nerds and the, the, the passionate and overly excited people. So I'll, I'll, I'll close with those lines. Time is all we have. The money, the wealth, the power, the social status, that's all bullshit to me. And time, the moment present, is all we have. So spending time with you playing games to me is definitely worth it. And every time you showed up you made me a better better person. So thank you.